Hey guys, welcome to another WordPress tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to connect your WordPress website to the Cloudflare CDN. The Cloudflare CDN will help improve your website performance and also help in securing your website. If you want to learn more about the Cloudflare CDN, I'm going to drop a link in the description where you'll learn more and also see the features you can add to your, web to your website. So let's get straight into it. Now, I'm going to add the Cloudflare CDN to this website here, drinkcare.site. So I'm going to show you the process um, from the start to the end. So the first thing you're going to do is to register on the Cloudflare website. And to do that, you go to cloudflare.com. So let me just type that in. All right, it's going to load the website. So the next thing you're going to do at the top, can you see it? At the top, just above the under attack, you are going to click on sign up. All right, it's going to ask for your email address and password. So I'm going to enter my email. And my password. So once I'm done, I'm going to click on sign up. So it's going to bring me to this page. Now, the next thing I want you to do before you take any step further is to confirm your email address. And to do that, you go to your email address, the, the account you registered with, and you set this email, Cloudflare, please verify your email address. Click on it, and you click on this link here. So just click on it. Let's wait for it. All right, see so your email address is now verified. Now click on continue to the dashboard. All right, so we're now going to add our website. So to do that, just click on add site. Let's add our website. Mine is drinkcare.site. Go back. I'll cancel. Hey, sorry. Let me go back to the page. Cancel that on a mistake. All right, I'm going to copy my link. Click on add site. All right, said invalid domain. So what you have to do is to delete the HTTPS and also the slash at the end. Click on add site. Let's wait for it. All right, so it's going to show you their pricing plan. I will advise you scroll down. They have the free plan. The free plan is perfectly fine. Um, if you want to scale up, you can check the other plans and also select the one that fits your business. So for me, I'm just going to select the free plan. So I'm going to click on it. Click on continue. All right, so it's going to scan my DNS records. All right, so it's going to show all your DNS records. Um, it's very important you confirm your mail DNS record. It's very, very important. Um, you can do this by, you can take a screenshot of this page or just copy this and share it with your um, host support, the hosting provider support, so that it can confirm if this is your um, CNAME mail address. It's very, very important because if you're using webmail, if you don't confirm this information and we proceed, there's high probability that you will not be able to receive any mails from your um, customized webmail um, account. So it's very important to confirm this information. Take a screenshot or just copy it and share with your hosting provider support and they will give you the appropriate information. So once you're done, click on continue. All right, so pointing, okay. So it's going to tell you to Change your Cloudflare's name server. It's very important to do this so that we can connect our website to the Cloudflare CDN. And to do this, if you're using Namecheap, you go to your Namecheap account. So go to your dashboard. Let me go to mine. On your dashboard, you scroll down and you click on Manage. Can you see it? Manage. If you're using a Namecheap account, um, if you're using GoDaddy, you can just search online and see how you can change your name server on the GoDaddy platform. So for me, I'll just um, show you how to do it on Namecheap and also 
I'm using a different um, domain account for mine, but I think it's very important because I feel a lot of people use the Namecheap um, to get Namecheap to get their their domain. So once you get to your dashboard, beside the domain on the same line to the right, click on Manage. Scroll down, change this from name servers, change this from Namecheap Basic DNS to Custom DNS. From Namecheap Basic DNS to Custom DNS. Now we are going to go back to Cloudflare, this page, copy the first one, come back here, paste it, do the same thing. Okay, let me just cancel this. Copy this, this jobs, paste it here. And once you're done, you click on this save. Can you see it? Save. So because this is the way I got the domain name from, I'll, now I'll just deactivate this. But this is basically how you connect it to the Namecheap um, domain name, to your Namecheap domain name. So I'm going to change this back to Namecheap Basic DNS. All right. So let me just quickly change mine. So I'll just copy this. Um, paste it and I'm going to change name servers so once we're done we basically connected our website to Cloudflare CDN and the next thing is to click on done check name servers so click on get started automatic yes save optimize performance you can activate this save auto minify yes this will increase your website speed. Select all, then click on save. Also save this. Once you're done, click on finish. So it's very important you wait for like, um, at worst case scenario, 24 hours to see the effect, but basically we've connected our website to the Cloudflare CDN. Once I'm done, what I like to do is to install a plugin on WordPress that helps us Clear our Cloudflare catch because sometimes when you make changes on your WordPress, on your WordPress website, especially when you've connected it to the Cloudflare CDN, um, those changes don't reflect to the users. So it's very important to clear our Cloudflare catch so that they can be able to see the updated changes on the website. And the plugin I like using for this particular settings is um, called Super Catch. So I'll go back to my dashboard, my WordPress dashboard, go to plugins, click on add new. So I'm going to search for um, super catch. It's not WP super catch, by the way. It's super page catch, I think, something like that. So let's just confirm. Yes, super page catch by for Cloudflare. Yes, this, this plugin by Optimal. Super page catch for Cloudflare. So click on install now. Click on activate. All right, so once you're done with the activation, you go to settings, click on super page catch for Cloudflare. Can you see it? Settings, super page catch for Cloudflare. All right, so you scroll down. Let me cancel all this. You scroll down, so it's going to give you the instructions, but um, let's just, just follow my lead. So just see what I do. So you see authentication mode, leave it at API key, Cloudflare, Cloudflare email, sorry. You enter your email address, your Cloudflare email address. All right, the API key. Now to get your Cloudflare API key, you go back to your dashboard, your um, Cloudflare dashboard. So just click on the website, go to overview. So on the right hand side, let me cancel this. On the right hand side, you scroll down to you see get your API token. Can you see it? Get your API token. Click on it. So you scroll down under API tokens, you will see API keys. So the API key you're requesting for from this plugin is the global API key. And all you have to do is to click on view, 
To view the key, you have to enter your password. It's very important that you keep this key safe. Very, very important. So make sure this key is not accessible to everybody. It's very, very important, please. So you cancel, you, sorry, you copy this. You go back to the super page cache for Cloudflare. You paste it. Once you're done, click on update settings. Okay, you scroll down. It's going to, you're going to see a new option called Cloudflare domain name. Select the domain name. So my own is drinkcare.site. Click on update settings. So you scroll down. Once you're done, just click on enable page catching now. Can you see it? Click on it. And that's all you have to do. You successfully installed Cloudflare on your website. And the best thing about this plugin is it's going to add the best Cloudflare settings for your WordPress website. So you don't have to optimize anything. Uh, and it also works well with third party speed plugins, speed optimization plugins like WP Rocket, WP Optimize, um, Lightspeed Catch. So it's amazing. It has already given you the default settings you need to um, have enabled to make Cloudflare work perfectly on your website. So it's very important. If you don't really know much about how to edit, just leave it the way it is. It's, getting, it's done the settings for you. And if you want to clear the catch, all you have to do is go to the top bar. Can you see it? The toolbar. You see CF catch. Just click on purge all catch. Can you see it? Click on it. And it's going to purge all the Cloudflare catch on your website. So that's basically how to connect your WordPress website to Cloudflare. I hope this video was helpful. If you enjoyed this video, kindly hit the like button and also subscribe. Thanks for watching.